Hey guys, PK here. If you're um if you're looking to get into the market but you're just waiting for the bottom, you're just waiting for the market to to drop as much as it will because of COVID, then you'll get vid um you'll get some value out of this video. So continue to to listen and and let me know what you think. So a lot of people are waiting for the bottom. They think that once the job keeper and job seeker allowances um, finish up, um, you know, in, in four or five months then that is when we're going to see a whole um, lot of hurt in the market. That's when we're going to see a lot of um, defaults on houses, a lot of mortgage stress, um, a lot of negative things like that. So if you're still on the sidelines, if you're still thinking, <clears throat> you know, let me time the market exactly so that I don't buy now and then experience a 5% um, property reduction, um, then just take into consideration some of these things that, um, that, that I'll speak about over the next couple of minutes. Um, so if you recall, let's, let's go back into to March. Um, how many of you that are still on the sidelines, how many did, did you think that sitting here in June, the market would be where it's at? Or did you think that the market would have already dropped 10% or 15% or 20%? I remember early March or I think mid-March, um, all of the newspapers, a lot of people even in the property industry were saying the property market's going to fall by 10 or 20 percent um, and that will happen by June. Okay, And then what the government did was that they implemented a whole bunch of stimulus package. They implemented job seeker, job keeper, a whole raft of measures for tenants, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So now we're a bit like March. People are still on the sidelines. Um, you still may be thinking, you know, once the job keeper, job seeker finishes, then the property market is going to reduce. Now, in reality, what's happening, guys, is um, the, the government, and rightly so, they're posturing politically to say that, you know, we will not extend it and we will not do anything after the September or October period when a lot of the stimulus finishes, right? Of course, that's what they want to do because they don't want the economy. They don't want businesses. They don't want landlords. They don't want, you know, free enterprise relying on the government. So the government is absolutely posturing, communicating, saying all the right things to give the accountability back to the free market, okay? In reality, though, the government will not let the housing market crash. And what to speak of crash, they won't even let the housing market come back by, by 10%. And what makes me so sure of this? Well, it's not just me, I'm just a small person. Um, but there's so much wealth of Australians sitting in real estate. In fact, that's where most of the wealth of this country sits. It sits within residential real estate, not even commercial, residential real estate. And so if the housing market, let's say, goes back 10%, that means all of the wealth of Australia, the biggest asset sector, all of the wealth of Australians has gone back 10%. That will have cataclysmic effects on the economy. And that is not something that this government or any other government will entertain. So right now, of course, they're saying they're not going to extend job seeker, job keeper. They're not going to do more stimulus, etc., etc. That's all the right political posturing. But when it comes time, they will not let the market go backwards, okay? So that's one thing to take heart of. So if you're waiting on the sidelines, if you're waiting for a correction, you're gonna be waiting a long time and that's what people have been waiting for for years and years and years and years, while other people have been in an educated way, not just willy-nilly, in an educated way, getting on the bandwagon and making a lot of money for themselves and their families so that they can do the things that they really want to do, okay? Getting freedom. Now, I just want to say one more thing, and, and, and that is that, you know, once it comes to, to September, October, it's not like the market's going to rebound, okay? That's not what I'm saying either. What I am saying is that the entire market post September, October is not going to see a correction, okay? And, and you might be saying, hey, look, PK, we've already seen a correction. Well, that's not the case, okay? Um, yes, in CBD unit markets in Brisbane, in Melbourne, in uh, Sydney, in some place, other places around Australia where 
there are more there's more stock there's more exposure to those that have lost their employment retail sector workers hospitality workers etc those areas have seen a lot of pain okay so the vacancy rates in brisbane cbd they're above 12 percent right now so you wouldn't want to be buying or i should say you wouldn't want to be holding a property if you already had one there right now you know you'd be feeling a lot of pain but in very strong markets in very strong markets within markets it's a great time to buy right now so whilst a lot of people have been saying you know let's say for the last two years that brisbane has been flat in fact it's gone back 0.2 percent the previous year last year it went back um, about two percent so a lot of people have been saying well brisbane's not, not nothing's really happening in brisbane the reality is that i mean a lot of my clients myself and i know so many people have experienced huge capital growth in some suburbs in Brisbane, especially northern Brisbane, and I'm not talking about Moreton Bay here. Okay, so don't cast a judgment on an entire city, on an entire market, based on what's happening in some pockets. There are always opportunities, and if you're on the sidelines, if you're just waiting for this massive correction to happen, it's just not going to happen, okay? Um, the government is not going to let that happen. There's too much at stake. For, for the government to just let the free market um, you know, dictate itself. And we will see a floor under this and we will see a bounce. But what to speak of a bounce? There is already a bounce. There's already capital growth happening in very select suburbs around Australia. So don't stay on the sidelines, get into the market, get in in a wise way, not just anywhere and become educated. Okay, so thanks for listening. Um, ask yourself, you know, was this useful or, or was it not useful? If it was useful, then do something about it. You know, you really thank yourself in six or 12 or um, 18 months time. Okay, see you guys.